Hey, how's it going everyone? What is up and welcome back to the channel. We had some big shit happen yesterday for Mortal Kombat 11 in uh, Aftermath. We got the trailer, we did all the videos on that, but there was one main question that everybody's been uh, asking since yesterday, since everything dropped for it, is where are the three other characters? Is this combat 2? Are we going to get more characters or is this it as far as Aftermath and this combat pack goes? And I'm going to do my best to answer this question with a logical answer without having any real information to go on today. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. But before we get into that, if you guys haven't subscribed and you are new here or you're returning, just haven't clicked that sub button yet, I really appreciate it. Uh, it helps keep the channel going. And also, I stream on twitch.tv slash tootintv. Uh, so link is, is in the description for that and don't forget to hit that notification bell uh, to know when I upload But let's go ahead and jump into this video. So anyway to ask the question So the the thing that's going on is in Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath the expansion We're getting three new characters in Fujin, Robocop, and Shiva And we're also getting three new skin packs released over time and four new stages now the thing the question is where are the other three characters because uh, inconsistency with every other fighter pack released for a Mortal Kombat game or an NRS game for that matter Injustice, MK9 even, MKX, and MK11 for Combat Pack 1 there have been three or six characters it's been two guest characters and four MK characters so in Combat Pack 1 of course we got Terminator and Spawn as the guest characters and Nightwolf, Sindel, Shang Tsung, and Joker. Now, the thing about this combat pack is it's weird because a lot of people are saying that, no, there's not going to be extra, extra characters because we're getting story with it. And while we are getting story with it, I doubt the story, and we're going to be making a video on this, I don't know if this story is going to be like an eight-hour story with the cinematics and the gameplay like the main story is for MK11. I don't know if we're going to get that. So to charge people $40 for a maybe three hour story even with cinematics and gameplay or a four hour story with cinematics and gameplay and three characters and three skin packs and four stages and the four stages are supposed to be free that's just for $40 that's ridiculous. That being said I don't think they're gonna play it like that. If they were smart and didn't want people clawing at their fucking asses uh it would be like this okay so this was my original idea i talked about it on stream um before aftermath dropped it was okay here's the plan we're gonna have aftermath drop initially we're gonna have three characters i thought it was gonna be one but we're gonna have three characters from the combat pack two that are they play a big part in the story or at least robocop's not he's the guest character but we'll go ahead and release one guest character so we'll have two characters from that combat pack that play a big part in the story and we'll have them feed into it we'll go ahead and drop them with the story mode that comes out and that'll be that and then a month or two maybe not even that maybe a month down the line we'll reveal the other three characters for the combat pack and combat pack 2 is actually going to play in with aftermath you get the combat pack 2 if you purchase aftermath you get the six characters two guest characters four mk characters that's how i think they're going to play it because i don't think you can really justify 40 dollars for a four hour story three characters and three skin packs i wouldn't if it was up to me i wouldn't buy the skin packs at all i yeah i pre-ordered and i wanted to pre-order for those skin, the uh, initial skin pack for the MK9 Scorpion, the MK Deception Sub Zero, and the Classic Frost, I wanted those skins. But as far as any other skins go that you have to actually pay for, I could give a fuck less about. I really don't care about skins. I did not purchase this for skins. I purchased this for the characters and the story. But at the same time, if we only get three characters in a four-hour story, granted the story is going to be good. It's by another realm, but still four hours and three characters for $40, that's gonna be fucking ridiculous, and I'm gonna regret my purchase, so, of course, Netherrealm knows that, Ed Boon's smart, he's always catered towards the fans, he's always thought about the fans and everything that he does with NRS and his game, so I do believe we're going to get more characters, guys, don't, don't freak out, don't be like, okay, well, we're getting three shitty characters that we all, all already knew about and story, and that's it, I do believe we're going to get three more characters, but I could be wrong, but at the same time, like I said, when it came to the leaks, and I ended up being right, glass half full. Don't freak out. I think we're going to get more characters because there were more leaks for the characters. The leaks that we got from 4chan that ended up being halfway, over halfway right, also leaked 
three more characters for combat pack 2 so stay hopeful i do believe there's going to be more characters it's just the thing of we're getting aftermath and these three characters on the 26th like they're not releasing them at a later date when we get aftermath on the 26th we're getting these three characters so i believe they wanted to they actually might be and we'll talk about this in, the, in a later date but they might be shortening the lifespan of mk11 they might be releasing these three characters releasing the next three characters over a shorter amount of time and then going into combat pack three before next year for injustice three but we'll talk about that at a later date but yeah guys stay hopeful i think there's going to be more characters but that will do it for this video today hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please like comment and subscribe and uh don't forget to check out my twitch channel twitch.tv slash tv and uh yeah my name's tootin and i will see you guys on the next one peace